We are going to install Google services so that we can access the Google Play Store natively to install any app that we want through the Play Store. A few days ago, we took a look at a solution, which is really simple. We just need to install one app and we will have access to the Play Store. If you haven't checked that video, I will leave the link down below. But there is a con because I did try a lot of apps which worked great, but there was one of two apps that didn't work. So today we have a different solution. I'll be using the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. I will leave the link down below just in case you want to check that out. But you can use any Huawei mobile phone or Huawei tablet. This step-by-step -step guide will take a bit longer, but it's worth it. So if you are on the same situation, let's go for it. Okay, so first of all, let's open our browser and search for Micro G. It's easy to find and you will find the website. And then we just need to go to the download area and we are going to download the services framework and then a little bit lower down below, we will download the two files that we will see there, which have a HW, which stands for Huawei. And then let's open the file manager and let's install those three services which are APKs. Once we have installed the three, let's go to the phone options, let's search for applications and let's search for micro G. Let's open micro G services and let's give permission to all the definitions that we can find there so that micro G can do its work. Now after giving all the permissions, let's go a little bit below where it says draw over other apps, let's give it permission and then where it says open by default, let's select. And where it says unverified links, we will press there and let's add the one that appears is app.goo.gl. Now we will go back to the main menu of the app and let's select the options on the top right corner. We can see the self-check just to see if everything is okay or if we are missing any of the permissions. And then if we are missing, probably you forgot to do something that I did mention and you just need to go back. But if everything is okay, now we can put in our Google account and log in. I did deactivate what you see right over there on that option so that we can avoid any errors. But in terms of the login process with the Google account, it's really straightforward. So let's not waste time here. And now let's go back to the phone options and where it says apps, we are going to select the four dots that you can see on the top right corner and let's select special access and where it says unrestricted data access, let's search for micro G and let's activate the three that appear. Now let's get back to where it says launch manager. Let's get in that menu and we will also search for micro G and right now we just need to press so that we can deactivate the automatic mode and then press OK. And if you are watching this video on Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And that's it. The most difficult part Part is done, I promise. Now we will be able to install a App Store, which is not the Google Play Store, but it will have access to everything that the Google Play Store has. All the apps, all the safety measures and whatnot. So all the database, it will gather from there. Let's search for Aurora Store. Once we find it, we just need to download it and then install the APK like any other app. Now let's go to the phone options, let's select apps and let's search for Aurora. Once we find, we just need to give permission to media management and then down below where it says open by default, let's go to unverified links and let's add the ones that we see there, which in this case it's market.android and the Play Store, which is the official databases that it's going to grab information. Now let's go to the safety options and then more options. And where it says install apps from external sources, let's select Aurora Store and allow. And now we can start up 
Aurora store and we just need to follow the menus that appear because we already have done all the work and it will just make a self check again just to see if we have everything if by any reason we don't have one of those options available it will also give us the guides to follow but honestly the guide is just what I did share with you we have activated everything now we can do the login with our Google account on the Aurora store let's go to the updates and let's press for a few seconds on top of Google Play services which we are not going to use and let's select a black list so that we don't get any updates now let's search for Android system web view beta which you will find on the Aurora store and let's install it he will automatically request to install the library try Chrome and we will say yes now we just need to get back let's go to the options the settings of the phone where it says launch manager we will select Android system web view and we will deactivate the automatic mode just by pressing and then saying ok and that is it we are now ready to install any app through the Aurora store which will grab all the information from the official Google Play store in our Huawei device so any app that you were having any issues playing around with it on your Huawei phone now you can do so without any issues and I would love to hear some feedback down below in case your apps are working or even if there is still one or two apps that are not working because if that's the case because I haven't found any that's not working leave down below and we will search for another alternative so that we can have our great Huawei devices working with Play Store and have compatibility with most of the apps that we are used to use. If you've enjoyed the video don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.